They are deploying security from the top floor to the freight elevator. Your path to the server room leads right through them. Okay. So, after some buggering around, I finally figured out that the easy way to kill the gorillas is just ripper mode. So we're going to give that a try. I had to go back to the sewer to try and figure it out because none of the VR tutorial missions gave me any uh, chance to fight them, or at least not that I saw. Um, then when I went back to the sewer, I uh, apparently deleted my uh, checkpoint data, which meant when I came back here I had to redo the whole level over again. So I got some more, uh, nano paste this time. And what the hell, let's talk to our friends while we're here. Now that is a weapon, eh? The great warhammers of medieval Europe were invented for breaking down heavy suits of armor. They were used by Russian cavalrymen for a long time, too. I would bet this hammer is intended for cyborg armor, yes? Probably. It's too big to swing without advance warning, though. Ought to be easy to parry. Duh. Let us hope you are right. <laughs> what do you think about what Monsoon said earlier about memes? You think we're all doomed to fight? Well, you can't talk. Yeah, we already yeah. heard he this. Yeah, fast. For example, <laughs> any cap. Anyway, you have to. So you right. A guy sits in the kids. There's got Doc, once you're and right. Well, that's. Guess all the staff's already gotten out. Probably. There's an evacuation notice for the entire neighborhood, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Can't exactly have civvies running about with cyborgs blowing the place up all around. I'm not complaining. This way I won't have to hold back. Too bad the cyborgs didn't go with them. I'm not even here to fight them. Yeah, but if you're expecting to find the guys behind all this, you're probably too late. I know. I'm just here to get the brains back. Anyone who ran this operation, worked on it, stood by and let it happen, I'll deal with them later. Smart plan. Wouldn't be much of a warrior if you started hacking up helpless non-cyborgs anyway. Those guys, we'll get them another way. Such as? Well, I mean, just getting the brains on our side could change a lot. World Marshal's got an iron grip on the government. Wall Street, too. Legal action's not gonna work. But you can bet the media's gonna descend on Denver like flies once you're done here. Once you've rescued those brains, they can start talking about VR training. If nothing else, it'll definitely change public opinion, and quickly. Good. Lord Marshall's stock will plunge, giving him less influence in Washington. We could see a managerial change. And, you know, the guy running the project would probably be demoted. Reassigned, at least. Demoted? For cutting up kids? That's punishment? It's gotta be Armstrong running all this. A guy who publicly has nothing to do with World Marshall. I... Yeah. Anyway... He'll have to wait. The way Monsoon was talking, Sam and Sundowner are in here somewhere. Yay. Taking them out to start, at least. I'm kind of hoping Sam doesn't die. He seems like the kind of person who'd make a good rival for Raiden. Courtney. Uh, yeah? You caught up. Guess I will. Oh, yeah. Right. Listen, Kevin. I heard right. this. It's my, it's my, that's so... Raiden. Courtney, keep working. Uh, uh, what? They... I feel like if I just, Court. I mean, but now I... Ah, uh, we heard this. Yes, please save, good God. All right, we're set. You're sure about this? Positive. Look. Uh, I mean, but the one who not just... Uh, it's more... Uh, All right. You okay, Raiden? No? Okay, just be careful, all right? Nothing new? All right, then. It is a high-frequency blade, Raiden, not a plasma sword. There are limits to what it can cut. The HF waves strengthen the metallic bonds in the blade, improving its cutting ability. But in terms of pure physics, no blade can uh, cut it in every situation. Theoretically speaking, an HF blade can damage anything, no matter how tough. But thick ceramic or carbon nanotube armor does not simply split open like butter with a hot knife. You need to chip away at it first, before you can destroy such material. Like with Ripper mode. I have reached the Japanese garden. Please continue on your way. Oh my god. It's taking you that long to get that far? Alright! No, oh, no, bird. Oh, the fucking bird.
you mean another gorilla? I want to hack these guys. Whoa! Okay, one hole. And I have no good power left. That's great. Move, please! I am utterly incapable of getting out of that shit. Get me! Fuck out of there! God! Anything. Okay. What the fuck on? It sucks me dry and does nothing. Oh, for fuck's sake! I can't even touch them without getting my ass handed to me. Ripper mode does nothing for fuck's sakes. Let me move for fuck's sakes. The absolute fuck. And we're right back to here. God damn you! My goddamn Zandatsu mode for fuck's sakes! Give me something that will hurt these things! Let me the fuck out! Out of that fucking garbage! There! At least I finally got something off of you. No fucking no! Can't get out of it. I'm so fucking sick of these guys. Even Ripper mode doesn't kill them. Fuck! Security from the top floor to the freight elevator. Boys, I hate this. I hate this so fucking much. I'm so sick of these things. Give me some friendly fire to help out. Jesus! On goddamn you, run! And off me! Die, you bastard! Fucking die! And then you fucking sit on my face! There! You lose a fucking arm! And then you get on my face and I can't get off! Can you hear this? You hear this? You see what it fucking takes for me to break out of that shit? 
Okay, I managed to cut one arm off of both of them. Kill the fucking birds! Get off of my fucking face! For fuck's sake, let me kill the fucking bird! Get on your feet and move! Alright! We fucking got one! Camera, fucking help me out here! Oh, fucking mighty, that was beyond ridiculous. <sighs> I need to use Ripper Mode on all three of those assholes to kill them. Fuck's sakes! How obscenely ridiculous do you have to fucking get? No more bullshit, goddammit. I want this fucking level to end. I've had enough. I knew there was something hiding back there. Fuck. Oh, God. I can't stop my fucking handshaking. It's so goddamn ridiculous. Okay. Holy shit, I can finally get on with this fucking game. Do not 
make me have to fight any of those fucking gorillas face to face ever again. That was fucking absurd. The server rooms ahead? Yes, according to what I have here. What should I expect to find? If they're VR training those brains, I'm guessing it won't look like your typical IT department. Quite right. Most of it will likely be occupied by life support units. Feeding oxygen and nutrition to the brains they have stored, you know. They would also need a server to feed them the VR data, but in terms of structure, it's really more brain storage and maintenance than a server room. But no doubt it makes a convenient euphemism for what they are really doing there. <laughs> yeah, like how CIA agents refer to where they work as the company. Indeed. Something like that would never arouse the suspicions of rank and file staff who may hear it. And I'm sure those complicit in this operation feel better not calling it the VR training room. Hmm. Even something so simple as a name can help one ignore the truth of what they are doing. Truly fascinating how the human brain works. So this, whatever room, that's where Sundowner's waiting, right? If he wants a fight, I wish he'd just get on with it. He didn't seem the type to run and hide. Well, he is in charge of security, but I suspect this is not about business. If I had to guess, I would say he is toying with you, testing you, perhaps. Mm, great. Whatever he's doing, it won't change what's going to happen once I finally catch up with him. Yay. Oh.